Hey guys, it's Shamika. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys seen already by the title and by this picture, we are making a full lace closure wig. This is my first time making this. And we're not going to be using that. We're going to be using an actual wig cap. That is just for when you're installing it onto your head, but we're not going to use that. We have, I have thread, I have the pins, and I have an extra large spandex cap. And it comes in different sizes, um, different colors. Uh, this was $2.99 at the beauty supply store. Honestly, I actually had some home already, but I feel like it just ran away. So right now, we're just going to be placing it on top of the mannequin head. I bought this mannequin head instead of using my own tool that I have because I didn't want to get the thread stuck inside of here and then my mannequin heads go bald. So get your pins ready, get your closure ready, get everything ready because it's about to go down. So I got this closure and honestly I am really excited by the way it looks and everything. I was just so excited I'm like I'm really about to make a wig. I'm not to make an actual wig wig. I'm making a wig wig here. A wig wig. All right, let me stop. So I'm measuring it and I, let me tell you, let me just tell you, this part was the most frustrating part about the whole wig. Trying to pin the closure on so it's laid perfectly. I don't understand why nobody's ever said this before, but I had to fast forward it because it took me forever. You would think I just sewed that on. You would think I just sewed that on. All I was doing is pinning it into place and it still didn't come out flat, as flat as I needed it to. But I just had to keep on moving because it was wasting time, getting later and later by the day. Now that the hair is finally pinned down, I'm going to go straight into I got a piece of thread and I got this needle. I didn't go and get this from the beauty supply store because I already had some in the house. But if you don't have any, go and ask. Check out the beauty supply store or the 99 cent store. While I'm looking back at this video, I'm realizing I sewed in bigger parts while I was going up in the closure. So instead of sewing like connecting the wig cap to the closure, legit where the wig cap is underneath the closure, I went a bit further out. And oh, this is how I tie it off. I'm basically just wrapping around the needle three times and then pulling it. That's to close off the line. But yeah, like I was saying, I feel like I pulled it out too far and that made the wig cap tight. So when I tried it on my head, it was a bit too tight. Like the wig cap kind of shrunk a bit. I think that was the reason why. So definitely next time I have to take my time and pay attention to what I am doing. But this is my first time, so you know, always room for improvement. And it's actually really thin. It's really thin. So this is 
one bundle but it's pretty thin it's thin like it reminds me of um wish wigs of the track so one thing you gonna one thing to do with this is while you're pinning it to make sure that it comes out the pointer you should try um, pinning to pin the track itself first the two together and then pin it onto the head so that that's just to secure it better now I definitely wanted to sew in the bundle sew in the clothes and everything myself but honestly the next time i do a wig unless it's human hair i'm most definitely gluing that on most definitely gluing that on ain't nobody got time for that nobody got time to be sewing in all them bundles struggling on a closure that decides it doesn't care how long you want to struggle on it to lay flat. It's not going to lay flat until it feels like it. This whole process took a lot of patience and, and strength and hope that it will turn out great in the end. So, I mean, just continue watching. <laughs> My goodness.
could work as like a side part and a middle part. Just depends on how you're parting it, but right now I'm gonna just do a middle part because that's the way it comes out that it show on top of the box itself. I think I did pretty good for my first closure. Part is not straight, but I really think I did good. It doesn't need to tint, lace doesn't need to tint or anything. Um, I'm really upset. But this part is getting really bulky. I'm not liking that. Hold up. What is going on? Sis, I'm sorry. Now you gotta. Ooh. This is Yaki Street here, bro. Let me take it off of this pole. I really just made a wig. Stop sleeping on me. I just made a wig. Alright. Let me get the picture from the back. So y'all can see. Do y'all see that? Shake it, shake, shake it, shake, shake it, shake it. Now, pause. Oh, cause I thought a girl that didn't make a wig said something. Oh, she ain't? Oh, okay. Let's continue. some extensions whatever that you just be feeling yourself like when they be you don't see them videos they be like oh he want he want a different type of girl he looking for he want to see new people so she pick up a different wig <laughs> it's Shalissa <laughs> Shalissa baby alright I'm That has been all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos to come. Most definitely going to be making another uh, another wig um, with different hair because I have another pack here. I tried it on my head. I'm going to insert a picture. I didn't like style or anything. I just tried it on. I'm going to insert a picture or a video at the end of this. And I am not going to be wearing it outside because my head is too big. So, yeah, it happens. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Y'all, I just made a wig! Okay, composure. I just made a wig.
I just smell like you. I gotta pluck it. I gotta pluck the center here a bit more, but overall, I really like it. And it feels so good. No shedding. I just made it less than $30. But I didn't really do that great, so I'm going to try again. But as for right now, I made a wig. Yeah.